Oh my god, I just shot the big team. Boys are gathering around from north to south. Got a full week of work done and we're headed out of town. Open up that Bible, Sam one to the big man. Hoping we could lay one down in them hench good timber stands. Got a northwest wind and the Remington sided in. It's opening day, that long clock rings. There's a cold from moving in. It's when a text goes round, big bug down, that hammer's on the steel. You gotta cover ground, a drag in mouth. Thank the Lord for your next meal. Your time goes by, but your dishing carries on. You better buckle up, son, cause the road is on. Alright, y'all, it's October 20th, and, uh, I'm still all hyped up about Brian's hunt. That was just such an awesome hunt. But to we're in there this evening, we're after a big buck. Uh, I got a big one on camera. He's been coming in there and hitting this mock scrape. So I'm hoping he shows up to suit him. <laughs> I thought it was going so good to see him come in here and got set up real easy. Everything was going perfect. And I forgot my daggone battery to my camera. But luckily I had a spare. The only issue is, is I don't have much battery life on it. So there's not gonna be much filming this evening. It's gonna be kind of straight to the point on the shot. So uh, hopefully everything works out all right. I do have the GoPro, so and I have my phone. So we'll see what happens this evening. Hopefully uh, everything falls through and, and it happens quick because we ain't got much battery life.
Oh my god, I just shot the big team. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I can't believe, I can't believe that this freaking happened. Holy crap. No battery life on my camera. What a freaking giant West Virginia 10 point. History with this buck. I've had him on camera for since last year. And, uh, oh, whew. man, he come in here working this mock scrape. I had him on camera the past few days coming in here hitting this thing. And he showed up today, and it was textbook. I had to get put two arrows in him. The first shot I know was lethal. He was just sitting there pumping the blood out. But I felt bad, so I stuck another one in him just to make sure. And he was pouring, running out of here. I know he's down, baby. All right, guys. I'm out of the tree. I'm not even going to him yet. I'm not even going to walk over to him. I don't have any cell phone service. My minutes ran on my phone yesterday. So I'm headed off the hill to get a hold of some buddies. Oh man, oh man. Oh, I couldn't be more happier. And I know I put two good shots on that deer. I watched them go into the pump station. But I've got to get down out of here. I left my bow and everything at the tree. I've got to go get service, guys. i got to get a hold of somebody. God, I love it, I love it, I love it. I love bow hunting. This ain't no, ain't no adrenaline rush like it, I know that. I'm still shaking. Hello. Hey, buddy. What are you doing, son? Hey. I just woke up, what are you doing? I had to call you, son. I just stuck at Big Ten Point. Uh-uh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I did. Oh, my God. Son, I just smoked him. Oh, hell. You going to come... power up? Yeah, you're going to come down here at Dad's, man. I'm torn plumb up. <laughs> oh, shoot. I got to have you here. Uh, I got to have you here, bub. <laughs> all right, let me... Oh, it's a get Mason. Get her up, get her ready. <laughs> all right, man. All right. Hell yeah, congrats. Thank you, man. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yeah, buddy. Uh, What's going on? I hope you got some free time this evening. What is it? I hope you got some free time this evening. Why? Because I just smoked that big 10 point I sent you videos of last night. Did you really smoke it? <laughs> yes, sir. All right, man. That's awesome. You got that? It's a big, you got that, it's a big 10 that you had in that tray? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Heck yeah. Yep. You, you got him. You're never going to believe this. I hit that daggone bleat call, and he came to it just like that buck up there at the, up there at the public land. Smoke show. Yes, sir. I put it in the pump station. He he ran about 15 yards and stopped, and I put another one in him just to be on the safe side. <laughs> I guarantee it. So we made it back up here. We're gonna go see if we can't track this guy. I, I heard him crash. I know he didn't go too far, so. See if I go down here and see if we can find my arrow real quick. Now he went that way, dude. He's standing right down here. Oh yeah, you can sit down. Blood all down through here. I put a hurt on him.
literally stood right here forever. Yeah, he stood right there forever. He took off running through here. Man, tons of blood down through here. Man, it's everywhere. He's pumping. Huh? No. I think he was standing right here. Because this is where you stand, there's blood everywhere right here. I thought I seen my arrow come out of him right up here. Thinking right in here, I thought I seen an arrow come out of him. There's blood just everywhere up through here. Right through here, Johnny. He is pumping. I'll show you guys. Right here is where I saw him. I saw the blood, most blood come out of him. Yep. There's one of them. I heard him crash right up here. <sighs> you see him? I can't even see him yet. Oh, yeah. He is pumping the blood. stand I was getting everything ready and I forgot my battery at the house <laughs> luckily I had a backup battery in my bag but I was worried about it wasn't gonna have enough battery life so I actually took my phone and zip tied it to my bow and uh, made it work I used it I had my GoPro going as well I did the same thing we did up with Brian man I grabbed that can and uh, hit that bow bleat after the wind calmed down and he coming here on a string, he come right to me. I thought for sure I was busted. He, me and him was playing a crazy game there, a, a stare down for a few minutes. And then he turned, stepped behind a tree, and uh, the rest was history from there. I stuck him, stuck him once, he was hit good. I could sit there and watch him just, he was having a rough time. But, you know, you wanna be ethical about it, so I put another one in him. And he probably didn't run, what, 60 yards maybe? Maybe if that. And, that was it, man. I heard him crash. I couldn't see him from my stand because it's so thick right through here, but I heard him crash. Whew. We're going to get him down out of here and get some more pictures and videos with him here shortly. Got a few people coming. Got some history with this guy. It's awesome, man. I don't even know what to say anymore. It's a beautiful buck. Wow. All right, guys. Uh, 
put a chapter in the chapter here to this buck here. I uh, never found a name for him, but I had some history for him last year, with him last year. He come in uh, working these mock scrapes and uh, hitting the mineral sites and stuff, but uh, just a great 10 point, perfect even buck. And uh, the biggest thing about all this is all these guys right here beside me, they're all family to me. And I appreciate them for coming along this evening. Uh, my old man back here, he keeps these deer fed for me most of the time. So <laughs> I gotta have a big thanks to him. Big thanks to Josh for coming out, supporting me in what I do. You guys go to Buck Wild Synthetics. I, I promise you guys won't be disappointed. I promise you guys won't be disappointed. Uh, I was still on a high from Brian's buck, you know. That was just some awesome footage we laid down there, him killing that buck on public land. I was still pumped up with that. And I just had a feeling this evening that I was going to see something and uh, get a chance at uh, taking this guy. But uh, I appreciate each and every one of you following along and uh, watching Stubby's Outdoors. Me and Johnny, Brian, all of us, we appreciate you all. Uh, you stick with us. We're going to see if we can't get this guy, see if we can't get him a buck now. Now you got some big shoes to fill, buddy. <laughs> we'll try. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button and share this video with people. And uh, hope you all enjoy it. Cause when a text goes round, big bug down, that hammer's on the steel. You gotta cover ground, drag in mouth. Thank the Lord for your next meal. Your time goes by, but tradition carries on. You better buckle up, son, cause the road is on.